welcome back to another video. Uh, this time it's going to be a cheap front rack and basket uh, IKEA hack style. Um, yeah, it was kind of hard to get one in Australia, so I was like, ah, I'll try, just try to build my own. Um, yeah, this is what I came up with. Hope you enjoy. Cheers. All right, this is what I got from IKEA. It's uh, actually a desk organizer, but it's a nice shallow basket, good size. And then uh, this cross brace that goes on the back of shelves um, has eyelets which fits an M5 bolt which is uh, the same size as your eyelets on your bike. Next is the backing plate. Uh, this is optional. You can always use an old toe strap or some type of strap. And then uh, yeah, zip ties. I got both of these things from Bunnings but you can get them from wherever. And then some M5 bolts to attach to your bike. Um, I got those nuts there as well just to use as spacers, um, but you might not need those. All right, what you wanna do is just put your basket on where you want on the bike. I have mine a little bit close to the wheel because I wanna be able to stack stuff on top. But you basically just measure from the eyelet to the first uh, rail on the bottom of the basket. And I'm just eyeing it here and this is 37 for me. And then you do the same thing on the other side of the basket. Um, I led to the first rail and then this measured 35 for me. All right, next thing we're going to do is pop this little rivet out. You just turn it around on the other side and there's a little hole. You put your screwdriver in the hole and hammer it down and it should pop out. Um, you can also use a drill, but I don't have a drill. And then here I'm going to take those measurements that I had. So the first one I'm going to do is 37, so measure from the middle eyelet to 37 centimeters. Um, so that's 40, that's 30, um, 37. I just, little, just use a little marker there, just mark it. And then the same with the other side, measure from the end of the um, eyelet, make sure it's 37. And then, yeah, mark it same again. And then that's it. And we're gonna bend at those points Okay, to bend the rail, you can do it whatever way you want. Um, the way I did it, I used a, a shifter and just put it through the hole. So yeah, once it's through the hole, you stop it where you marked it, and then you just um, use the shifter as a lever and you just push down on it. Pretty straightforward. So yeah, just when you're bending it, just make sure it's um, the eyelet is straight with the bend because you're gonna be screwing those eyelets into your frame. Um, so yeah, you just bend it, pretty straightforward, and then bend it, uh, keep bending it until it's uh, 90 degrees. Um, so after you bend it like this, I basically just turned the shift a little bit so I got more leverage to bend it. And then, um, yeah, just bend it 90 degrees. All right, and basically do the same with the other side. Um, basically, you're trying to make a U shape. Um, same method again, just use the shifter, make sure your eyelets uh, are parallel with the bend, if that makes sense. That's it. All right, you can see um, once it's done, this is what it looks like, um, kind of like a U shape. Um, yeah, you can see the eyelets flat on the top and then the two bottom eyelets are flat left and right, and then what I did was I basically just put on my bike at that point, you use your M5 bolt or whatever eyelet bolts you have, um, just to see how it fits. Basically, I just, uh, I just re-measured that first measurement just, just to double check it was right after I put it on. Um, and yeah, it was, it was 35 again. So yeah, same process with other, uh, other wire, you just basically bend it. Um, and then what you want to do is see the eyelets on the bottom. You want to bend them out a little bit because it'll make it easier to mount. Um, so I just got some pliers and just bent them. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward here. Just try to bend them out a little bit. Um, here's what it looks like. You can see I just bend them out. Um, yeah, pr pretty straightforward. All right, next step is just you put the bolt through and put a nut on. I put a spacer nut just because otherwise it would hit my forks. So yeah, I just did that on both sides. Yeah, and just screw them in um, to your eyelets. Pretty straightforward here. Just make sure 
the right size is in the front, right size is in the back, and then you can check with your basket and this is what it should look like. Try to make sure the eyelet holes on the top is centered to your wheel. Um, how you can do this is just bend it freestyle. Um, here I put the basket on, you can see it's bowing a little bit at the top. So what I need to do was just bend the Y a little bit more, just make sure it sits flat against the basket. And yeah, here it is, all done. You can see the basket fits right in the middle there. Um, you just space it out so it's centered, pretty straightforward. And then what you're gonna do is, um, you're gonna just zip tie it on there. All right, so when putting on the zip ties, um, I learned this technique from a Blue Lug video that I watched, that at Blue Lug. Yeah, so basically you just feed it under, you cross it over, loop it around and bring it back up again, kind of like tying a knot. You can see how it works there. And then I just had the squares of the zip ties facing inwards. And what I did was I just tied it loose at the beginning. So you do all of them loose and then you can tighten them at the end once you're happy with the position. Um, but yeah, you can see here all the little back squares are facing towards the center. I did the same with the top here. And then just repeat the process on the corners. Um, I went one yin from the basket, front and back, and just matched them. But yeah, you can see all the little black squares are facing in. Um, yeah, you're basically done at this point. What you can do is just uh, run a strap around the basket to the head tube. I just used an old toe strap here. You can do that. Um, and that should, you know, hold up pretty well. Won't be the most stable, but it'll work. And yeah, that's pretty simple. Yeah, and here's what it looks like. It's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you the next part. So yeah, the next part, I'm basically, I'm going to create a plate from the eyelet hole of the front brake to the basket. Um, you can see my mine's pretty tight, so I'm going to run a few spaces just to make sure it clears the headset. Um, yeah, yours might be different, but here, basically use the plate. Um, the hole for this plate wasn't big enough, so I need to make it bigger. Um, slightly bigger for the brake, uh, brake bolt to fit in. So what I ended up doing was just use a kind of screwdriver and then I just kind of ground it out just by hand just to make it a little bit wider. It doesn't have to be that much so yeah you kind of just muscle it and then it, it works just side to side like that and then you can see that bolt that's the same size as a brake bolt um, but yeah you can see it, it fits. Um, so yeah that's basically all I need to do. And then the next step, you would want to measure just how far you need to bend it to kind of line it up with the top of the uh, top of the eyelet on your uh, bike rack. Um, here's a bent, um, but yeah, you'll see how it joins up now. Yes, yeah, so just uh, taking the toe strap off and then undoing the bolt. Um, pretty straightforward here. I just put in that L-shaped bracket thing and then put in the washers, screw it down. Um, yeah. And then what you can see is I slipped it in underneath the basket. And then what you want to do is line it up with that hole and you're going to put uh, just a couple of zip ties through there. Um, you can put a bolt through there. I just didn't have one, so I'm just going to use a zip tie. Yeah, just put one through the center and then put two through the sides, just like that. Um, you just trim them, cut them up, make sure it's nice and neat. And then just tighten the rest of the zip ties, cut, cut all the excess off. And then yeah, you're done. That's it. Yeah, pretty hyped with the build. Um, you can spend more on a basket if you want to, but yeah, I just went for the cheap option. Uh, maybe in the future I'll get uh, a silver one to match the rails. Um, but yeah, this one comes with a little cork uh, mat for the bottom in case you want to carry stuff so it doesn't fall through the holes. And then it also comes with these spacers. This is just one spacer, but it comes with the, uh, two more. Um, you can kind of like partition out, like if you want a U-lock or a water bottle or something different. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm going to use those, but there's an option if you want to.
All right, that's the video. Hope you liked it. Um, yeah, I'm pretty hyped with how the rack turned out. Um, it ended up being pretty solid. I thought it would just break apart once, uh, once I built it. <laughs> But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of the rack. Um, if you decide to build your own, um, yeah, hit me up. And see you for the next vid. Cheers.